Howdy, y'all. How you going? We're looking at rare New South Wales police, fire, ambulance, and AFP assisting a nuclear waste transport. This sounds uh, rather fascinating, quite honestly. You know, I like the transporting videos with the uh, big trucks hauling crazy cargo, uh, the logistics involved, and just the mechanical force involved. It's just very uh, interesting to watch. And then, of course, combining that with the emergency vehicles series uh, is kind of makes for a fun video i reckon this is uh from j man on discord so great suggestion i appreciate it and this is from a channel called clinton down this will be linked in the description down below so you can check his channel out and of course watch this whole video uninterrupted let's check it out it is a uh, nighttime of course so those are awesome because uh, you get to see these light patterns in their full beauty right they look best at night of course and most potent uh, so yeah we have some police motorcycles a really cool, it looks to be a Holden, I hope I'm right, it looks to be a Holden wagon, police vehicle up front, really neat, look at this off-road, like we got the, um, the cargo basket up top, kind of cool looking, like, looked almost as if, like, it was an unmarked unit, and then another SUV unit, really cool, again, uh, I just love that, I geek out over this stuff, man, a lot of different police vehicles, uh, just those police SUVs. You know, look different than ours here in the U.S. <laughs> All right, and then look at these. Holy crap. These are big trucks. Wow. Okay, we have two trucks in front. Uh, they look to be Kenworth. I think they're Kenworth trucks, but I could be wrong. They're beautiful. I can tell you that much. And they look powerful. <laughs> And uh, there is, I guess, the nuclear waste container or something. I really don't, this, that stuff's above my pay grade. I don't know uh, anything about, you know, nuclear programs and nuclear waste and all these different things. Um, you know, it could be for a lot of different things. I, I really don't know. But uh, it looks to be a very heavy cargo load for sure. Look at all the, ax uh, the uh, axles on that uh, unit there. And then, of course two more additional trucks in back wow that must be heavy that many of those big trucks jeez some oversized load um assistant vehicles of course and spotters really cool um ute there <laughs> and uh then again more of these police vehicles look at that how cool are those, uh, they look to be Toyota SUVs. I don't know what model, uh, but uh, yeah, that's what it looked like. Of course, nice truck there, I can't tell what it is. But it's like a Euro style fire truck. Really cool to see, Australia gets good variety, that's for sure. More variety than we get here in the US. And even BMW squad cars right there. And uh, that's why Australia, these videos are really interesting. I do have a couple more like emergency vehicle videos I have queued up that will be coming out very soon for Australia because uh, it just makes sense, right? I, I love the emergency vehicle videos and uh, Australia, it makes a lot of sense because they just have so many. I've said this before. They have so many different vehicles there. It really is one of the best markets uh, in the world when it comes to vehicles, right? Because you have Australian type vehicles you have some American type vehicles, you have some European type vehicles, and it's all in one place. It's kind of hard to replicate that in most places when it comes to that just unbelievable variety. So that's kind of a quick one, but look, it was really, really interesting. I want to see if we have any info on this. I mean, this is about all we got here. It says in the description, New South Wales police force, including traffic and highway patrol and public order and riot squad. Okay, P-O-R-S. Uh, along with Fire and Rescue, New South Wales, Hazmat Crews, Australian Federal Police, and New South Wales Ambulance Special Operations Team, assist with the transport of nuclear waste from Port Kembla to Australia's Nuclear Science and Technology Organization. So uh, that's the info there. If anyone knows, you know, what region, you know, if, if you've been through there, where we're dealing with, and uh, those emergency squads it's kind of cool to see that laid out and uh here we go does anyone have any idea on the weight of the thing four prime movers four that's so much power it must be freaking heavy that's what i'm thinking 
That's what I said for sure. I was told 110 tons. 110 tons. Wow. Yeah, that's not light. And uh, we'll put our end screen here. I love that Holden wagon. Uh, squad car, I think that's really cool. And I do like these um, kind of rugged looking uh, emergency vehicles, these SUVs. Cool lighting package, of course, red and blues. So I like that. I, I think red and blues look great. And of course, that's what I'm used to here in the US. So that's familiar. Uh, but this one, just with the look of it, and of course, the cargo basket and stuff, it, it just kind of looks cool. Looks like a fun 4x4, four four, you know, to go out overlanding during the weekend. And uh, it doubles as a squad vehicle. So uh, that's probably my favorite one. And uh, these trucks are just beautiful. So if you enjoyed that, please throw a like on there. Subscribe to be part of this amazing community. So we'll be linked in the description down below so you can check it out. And with that being said, y'all, keep up those great suggestions. My name is Ian. You're watching 9W Rocker. And until next time, y'all, thank you to all those emergency vehicle drivers, emergency responders, all that stuff, and uh, truck drivers, especially those who have to deal with crazy loads like this. That's not an easy task. You can't just throw anyone behind the wheel of those trucks. That's about it, y'all. Catch you later.